Okay, so are you ready to dive into one of those UFO cases that just kind of sticks with you? The Lonnie Zamora incident. It's like, got everything you'd want in the sci-fi story, except this one, well, it really happened. I mean, why do you think this case from way back in 1964 still gets people talking? You know, it really makes you wonder what we really know about what's out there, right? I mean, this wasn't just some blurry lights in the sky. Zamora's encounter, it had a close encounter, physical evidence, even official investigations, and nobody could explain it away. It's wild. Okay, so picture this. 1964, Socorro, New Mexico. Lonnie Zamora, he's a police officer, out on patrol. <laughs> just another day, right? Right. And then, bam! deafening roar, a flash of flame in the sky, he radios it in, figures it's a crash. I mean, wouldn't you? Totally. And that's what's so interesting. We have that radio call, his first reaction, all documented, adds a layer of like real-time credibility to what happens next. That's such a good point. It's not like he was running to the media or anything. Uh, okay, so he's racing towards this crash site. And get this, what he finds is not a crash at all. Forget blurry lights. This is up close and personal. Zamora described an egg-shaped thing, metallic, with these four legs just sitting there on the desert floor. And he wasn't just glancing at it, he got a good look. He even described two figures near it. Small, humanoid, in white coveralls, like they were checking it out, maybe working on it. Imagine being Lonnie Zamora in that moment. Talk about something they don't cover at the police academy. No kidding, I think I'd be frozen solid. Right! But he tries to get closer, radios in again, and this is where it gets really wild. The thing just takes off straight up, with a roar leaving scorch marks and these imprints in the ground right where it was. And they investigated those marks, photographed them, analyzed them. This wasn't just, you know, his imagination. And that's the thing, isn't it? We have a credible witness, a police officer, not some, you know, someone known for making stuff up, plus physical evidence. Even the Air Force took this seriously, full-on investigation, interviews, the whole nine yards, and they got nothing, no explanation. It's mind-blowing, really. But there's more to it, something that takes it from intriguing to, like, truly mysterious. Mm. The symbol. Oh, right, the symbol. Zamora said he saw it on the side of the craft, an upside-down V with three lines under it. It's like a message from, well, somewhere else. What do you think? Alien language? A logo? A warning? It's definitely strange. I mean, what are the chances a small-town cop just invents a symbol that's, well... Kind of eerie, right? It's hard to dismiss, given everything else. This symbol, whatever it is, just adds another layer to an already fascinating story. It's like it wants us to figure it out, to crack the code of an alien encounter. Okay, so we've got a credible witness, physical evidence, an official investigation that, well, raised more questions than answers, and this symbol that's just begging to be deciphered. So where do we go from here? What could possibly explain what Lonnie Zamora saw that day in the New Mexico desert? Well, you have some people sticking to the idea of a weather balloon or maybe a secret government project, but those theories, they kind of fall apart when you consider the specifics of what Zamora described and, well, the evidence. Okay, so no weather balloons. What about, you know, those secret government projects, like Area 51, that kind of stuff? Is there anything to those theories? I mean, it's tempting to go there, right? Secret tech being tested out in the desert, it's got a certain appeal. Right. And there are definitely folks who think Zamora, he stumbled onto something, something they didn't want him to see. But is there proof? Or is it just, you know, speculation? Well, that's the thing about conspiracies, right? Lots of intrigue, not a lot of hard proof. And while a government cover-up is kind of fun to think about, there's usually not much to back it up in these cases. And that brings us to the explanation that everyone loves, the one that really gets you thinking. Aliens. You think there's a real chance that Lonnie Zamora had an encounter with, well, beings from another planet? It's the explanation that fits best when you consider Zamora's story and the fact that there's no other good explanation. I mean, we're talking about a police officer, someone trained to observe, who stuck to his story even when people thought he was crazy. And the symbol. Could that be the key to figuring this whole thing out? It's possible, right. Imagine, just for a second, that it's stuff alien writing. What would that tell us? About where they're from, their technology, why they're here? It's like a little peek into a whole other world, something we don't understand. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. In this case, it makes you face those big what-ifs. makes you wonder about our place in the universe. Exactly. Even if you forget about the alien thing for a minute, it forces us to think about what's possible. What if we aren't alone? What if there are other civilizations out there? 
with technology beyond anything we can imagine. The kind of tech you'd need to travel between stars? It's mind-blowing. Right. Think about the energy, the type of engines they'd need, the materials for a ship like that. If that's what Zamora saw, it means there's technology out there we can barely even dream of. And the bees themselves. Two figures in white coveralls. Were they pilots? Ugh. Mechanics? Just exploring. Or something completely different. Something we can't even picture. That's what keeps researchers and, well, everyone else up at night, right? We're so used to our own limited way of seeing things, of understanding what life is. But what if we're wrong? What if there's more out there? It's like that quote, you know, the universe is not only stranger than we imagine, it is stranger than we can imagine. Exactly. And the Zamora case, it's a perfect example. It reminds us that there are still mysteries out there, things we may never completely understand. So where does that leave us? We have this compelling case, no clear answers, just a ton of possibilities. How has this, aliens or not, changed how we see UFOs and the search for life out there? Great question. I think the Zamora case really changed how we view these things. Before 64 UFOs, they were usually dismissed as hoaxes or mistakes. Right. But Zamora, with his credibility, the evidence, the investigation that led nowhere, it made people take it more seriously. It changed the conversation. So it made it okay to like actually talk about UFOs. Yeah, exactly. It made it okay to consider that we might not be alone, that there might be something else out there. And that shift, that openness to the unknown, you see it in pop culture and science, even in what people believe personally. It's like that one event, that encounter, opened up this whole new world of possibilities. But it still does. It reminds us there are still things out there waiting to be found. It's like we need these mysteries, these unexplained encounters, to remind us how huge and mysterious the universe really is. Absolutely. It sparks our curiosity. It makes us challenge what we think we know. It makes us keep searching for answers. Let's go back to the Zamora case for a sec. Yeah. Why do you think, after all this time, there are still no real answers? Will we ever know? That's the big question, isn't it? The mystery is part of what makes it so interesting. We have clues, witnesses, evidence, but nothing that tells us for sure. And that's what keeps people coming back, trying to solve the puzzle, find that missing piece. It's like a real life detective story, but about the universe. Right. And like a good mystery, it leaves us wanting more. Okay. So we've explored the possibilities, what it all means, the mystery, but there's one thing we haven't really talked about. And it's a big one. We keep talking about the mystery, all the possibilities, but what if, and I mean, really think about this. What if Lonnie Zamora, he really did see something, well, not from here. How would that, you know, that kind of contact change us? It's the big one, right? The question everyone asks. It's been in sci-fi forever, but the real deal, what it would mean for humanity, it's almost too much to wrap your head around. First contact with aliens. Yes. Biggest news story ever. Okay. Yeah. But would it bring us together or, you know, tear us apart? Would we see it as a threat or an opportunity? Who knows? We can guess, though. Some folks think that if we met a really advanced civilization, it could actually help us solve our own problems like climate change, not having enough resources, maybe even war. So we'd have to come together to face, like, a shared alien challenge. Right. But then others, they worry it could do the opposite. Make our differences seem even bigger, lead to more chaos and fighting. It's, like, exciting and scary at the same time. But forget about all that for a second. Think about the technology. If they can travel across space to get to us... What can we learn from that? Imagine knowing how to travel between stars, how to use energy in ways we can't even imagine. It would change everything, like a scientific revolution times a thousand. It's almost too much, isn't it? One yeah. case, one night in the desert, and it just opens up all these questions. It makes you wonder what else is out there hidden in all that space. That's the beauty of it, right? The unknown. It gets us curious, makes us use our imaginations. It reminds us that we're still figuring things out. Even without answers, the Zamora thing makes us keep looking up, keep asking the big questions. So even if we never know for sure what he saw, just trying to find out, exploring those possibilities, that's what matters. Exactly. It's about being okay with the mystery, the wonder of it all. About knowing we don't have all the answers, and that's fine. It's the not knowing that keeps us going, trying to learn and understand. Maybe someday we will have those answers. Maybe we'll find that one piece of evidence that explains it all, you know, about Zamora. Or maybe we'll find something even more incredible, something that changes how we see the universe all over again. No, oh, that's a thought that'll keep me looking up at the stars. Well, that's all the time we have for this deep dive. We've gone through the details, the evidence, the theories, the whole mystery of the Lonnie Zamora incident. It's a case that never gets old. And maybe, 
Just maybe, it tells us something about our own hopes and fears about what's out there beyond our own little planet. It reminds us how much we don't know, how much there is to discover. So keep an open mind, keep asking questions, and you never know what you might find. Until next time, keep exploring the unknown.